In this video, we're going to walk you through how to terminate and test a ComScope CCA connector. This is a toolless termination in the sense that you don't need a punch tool, but you will need a tool to strip your cable and clip the wires. I'm going to show you this right now. There's a little placeholder for your cable. You're going to see when I set this in, I just do a light score with the snips, not cutting through the jacket. You can snap off the jacket from there separating your pull wire out and then these are going to be in the standard order of blue orange green brown if you look on the connector you can see blue orange green brown that's if you're just getting started in this field you need to make yourself familiar with blue orange green brown and if you have been in the field then you are definitely familiar with blue orange green brown it's the standard when you put it in there's a little placeholder for your cable there and they give you a zip tie I like to go ahead and get the zip tie in pushing the knuckle down far so with one hand I can get the tip in and I also like to keep that knuckle tucked to the side trim it with your flush cutters, which you're going to have to do this tool anyway. And then I further push that knuckle down and hide it there. So it holds your cable in place. You don't want to pinch it too tightly because it can affect networking. But now the cable's in place. It's easy to work with with that zip tie there. And you can see now within the connector, there are dividers to help with crosstalk. And the standard of, of this particular connector is blue, orange, green, brown, but it's solid white, solid white. And that's also indicated by the color, which where the color is, is going to be your solid. So it's going to be solid blue, white, blue, solid orange, white, orange, etc. I'm going to lace it in so you can see. Get the white brown in. And there's also these little notches. You want to make sure your wires are seated down in these notches. Because when you connect the, the knuckle and the cap, you don't want to smash your wire. Oh, see? Talking and, and doing it. I already mixed it up. No worries. That's how easy it is to miswire talking and working you got me red-handed no worries though that's why you always double check your work come in here separate it out lace it in and now we have blue orange green brown solid white solid white solid white solid white always double check your work because you see how quickly you can miswire and I definitely want to Make sure those wires are pressed down past that. And they also, if you look on the front, they have a little notch there that holds your wires in place. Once you get it to that point, you come with your flush cutters and you just trim off the ends. You take your knuckle. There's a clearly a way to put it on. The thicker side goes to the thinner side. You line it up. That's it. Just snap it together. Now we already have the other end of the Klein tester plugged into the jack at the patch panel. It's a yellow jack that denotes that it's for an AP. So with the other end already terminated with the tester plugged in, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. The tester tells me immediately that it sees the remote ID1 at the other end. I'm going to run a data cable test indicated by the little networking symbol here. And pass. Just that simple. So, thank you for watching How to Terminate a ComScope CCA Connector, and we'll see you in the next video.